Uh, I'm Michael Loudon. Welcome back to Michael Loudon TV. This, this is Michael Loudon right here. Hi, everybody. We're in the basement. Um, yeah, so look around. This room is kind of creepy. Uh, we're down here because there's a tornado warning. Right now, issued for Kalamazoo County. It was issued a while ago, but we're starting to record now because the storm is actually starting to approach us. There's my wife, Kathleen. And this is what's going on on the TV right now. So if you can see the red right there around Alamo converging with the green, uh, that's the area right there where um, a tornado is likely possible. You can see it heading. We're in Richland. So everybody on YouTube now, you know where we live. We live in Richland. That's where it looks like it's headed, as you can see the top of it is uh, headed up there. So we got everything down here. We've got uh, stuff like food and iPod. Our internet's down right now. It's been doing that with the storm all night. We got our no weather radio. We got a flashlight just in case. It's like 10:40 at night. We got a lantern as well. So, uh, so yeah, this is getting kind of crazy. Uh, it's been lightning out like crazy. The tornado. We had a tornado watch. We had actually a thunderstorm watch issued earlier today. But that. Oh, geez. Yeah, the lights just almost went out. I don't know if you, anybody saw that, but the lights almost went out. Uh, our TV almost didn't go out, but the lights did. Uh, but anyways, we had a thunderstorm watch issued earlier today till 9 p.m. That was canceled. And then the sun came back out, and I said, well, this isn't good because the atmosphere is going to continue to destabilize. And uh, we had a tornado watch issued then a few hours uh, after that, probably, what was it, around 6? Yeah. Or a little after 6, probably like, probably like 7 something it, it was issued. Hi. So, uh, yeah, and I was like, oh, great. And I could see the storm is developing on the radar, and our satellite went out because of the rain uh, as well. So, yeah, we can't get anything. The only thing we can really get down here because it's a, we have it hooked up to a converter box was uh, 41. And they didn't have this on at first because it was just a severe thunderstorm warning. But I was like, because they said it was an isolated tornado possible. And I was like, oh, we better go downstairs. I moved the antenna so we could try to get other channels. We ended up getting eight, but it kept kind of going in and out. But you could get most of the information. Um it only went out like maybe once like every five seconds or like a second or so. But we got it back on 41. Here's a Kalamazoo sky cam. As you can see the lightning in there. And the lights just flickered again. Um, I'll, I'll kind of let them take over now so you can hear the information that they're talking about. So we're not seeing super tight rotation share us because we're not seeing super tight Could be straight line winds as well, so those could be more powerful. There was already a tornado today in uh, Portland, Michigan, which did knock down uh, some roofs off of churches and buildings. Nobody was injured, thankfully. Um, Looks like Richland is 11 o'clock on there. Three. So, and right now it's currently 1042 here. Right now, spotter on Riverview at McKinley, looking due west. Uh, pop up here, get that out of the way. Looking due west, can see a well-defined wall cloud. Now that's in the parchment area. Uh, the emergency manager reporting strong rotation near Cooper right now. Uh, there's been two other That's reports cool. of a possible wall mm -hmm. cloud on the cell, which is north of Parchment. So they are traveling. Uh, so I'll let them take over uh, now, and that way you can hear the information from them, uh, since I told you basically everything I could, or we could. Also, on a, uh, there's a spotter on a hill in Parchment with a clear view to the west and southwest. Again, uh, we've uh, talked to the Hopefully none of those spotters get hurt. County. No reports of uh, damage, I mean, no like reports of touchdowns. See if you can see anything on that uh, like the water spinning going down a drain the the Kalamazoo sky cam. Instead of see if the water going down thing. the drain, you have the air going up into the back side of the thunder. They're labeling all the streets and, uh, right now. Does, Keep in mind, everybody, a uh, uh, tornado so is the dangerous tornado you can have air. because you cannot again, see where uh, it's coming. You cannot, uh, you can't tell where you uh, it's heading towards your house uh, or not. So yeah, this is going to be a dangerous thing, guys. Alamo train spotter reports wind gusts of 70 miles. So keep them head to the basement. Yeah. Don't be such, don't be like a fool. 
I don't know if you just heard it on the TV, but uh, Chief Meteorologist Bill Stephan at New, uh, Wood TV8 just said 70 mile hour winds reported in Alamo. So, yeah, that's not good. And see, there, there's Richland right there, right by the live. Okay, they moved it back. There's Richland right there. And the are we in Richland or Richland Junction? I think we're in Richland. I mean, we're actually in the village, so I don't know exactly where Richland Junction is. A couple things. There are actually three big things that we look at, and the National Weather Service looks at when they issue a tornado warning. One, what are we seeing on radar? Check. We obviously have rotation here. Number two, what is the environment like? Is it conducive for tornadoes? Do we have the parameters in, in, in place for a possible tornado? Check. Number three, what eyes and ears on the ground seeing? Number three, eh, we got about half a check right now because we have that wall. They're starting right to now. rotate the camera and count as you can see. Whoa! Oh, I, saw that. I don't know if anybody just saw it, but it was like cloud to ground lightning that was just spotted on the Kalamazoo Sky Cam. Tornado warning. And we're seeing a lot of rotation right now, so this is a dangerous situation. But they're rotating what, around to see if we can find anything. If I lived with my family in this area, northern Kalamazoo County, I'd make sure we were in the basement, or I'd make sure we were in a safe place. That's a really good thing to be doing right now, because this is a dangerous storm. We're in a dangerous environment Ooh, there's some right more. now. We're seeing a lot of lightning, and you don't want to take any chances with this. We had something much less impressive on radar earlier this afternoon that pre produced a, an EF1 tornado. In uh, eastern Ionia County, Bill. That time off poor under. Yeah, yeah I'm, uh, I'm looking through uh, some of the comments mm -hmm. from Bill's blog. Mostly I'm getting people saying that they're getting heavy rain and uh, some very vivid lightning here. We've had the one oh. report that's come in on the NWS. Oh, that goes the line, yeah. No, I got it back. Alamo. That's good. Richland 1057. It kind of keeps changing, so about 1055 to 11 is when it'll probably get here. To us here at Wood. You can call us at one oh, there was some good crowd to, cloud to ground lightning. Now they're going to show the radar moving. This storm like uh, also developed as I was watching, or as I was actually putting together footage for you on YouTube. I promise I I haven't done a video in a while. It's because I've been settling in. Oh, so they're showing here I've developed settling in, getting married. So there are a lot of videos going to be coming down the pipe. I will try to post at least one or two of them a week. Um, but yeah, I was working on some stuff that actually was the day before the wedding about Mario Golf, so that will be coming um, in the next few days. It's uh, being put together right now. Just north of I-94, so especially that area that we're watching right now is just east of 131 and just north of Interstate. Uh, 94, we're in the parchment area. If you're in Siren? Battery, this is coming straight for you. I don't know if I just uh, heard a siren or not. So oh, let me, I'm going to hit mute for just a moment here, area, everybody. Coming towards... I don't hear a siren now. No. Let's see if you can get any, I don't, you probably can't get any good footage outside here. We're in the basement. You can kind of see my reflection. Sorry about all the blinds being in the way. And my finger, of course. Okay, you're not going to get any really good footage of so. Ow! So I just sat down on the seat. So I'll unmute this now. Certainly want to close your garage door, especially if it faces west. Uh, with all the storms coming in today, we really didn't do anything. Did you hear it? I'm going to leave that out. Did you hear it against that window? I don't know. Sorry, you're just looking at the basement. There's caffeine. I can't really hear the siren. I can't hear it. But it would be more prevalent over here. Got it. Uh, that's probably another tornado warning issue for Calhoun County, I'm guessing. Not hearing the siren out there either. So, Severe thunderstorm warning? Yeah, we have a no weather radio going off. As I said. That's another storm coming toward us. Alan and Van Buren, so we'll shut that off. So, we know there's another one coming our way. We thought we heard a siren. I got cobwebs all over me now. 
strong rotation. Um, don't dare go up the fresh rotation. No, don't go upstairs, okay? So, I apologize for the length of this video, but uh, I thought this would be some good footage. I know it would probably be better to go outside and get, get the storm, but I'm not going to go out there and stand. Um, unless you want to... can't stand on the street line wind. Yeah, unless, unless you want a dead YouTuber, I'm not going out there. Okay, so see that red right there. That's the rotation, and we're in Richland. It's going to hit us. Crap. <laughs> So we'll probably lose power, so you'll probably see that, but I'll put this a little bit closer so you can see it. When you see areas shaded in green, that indicates winds that are moving toward the radar. Red equals winds moving away from the radar. Good radar finger mouth. So what he's saying is it's never good when they converge. You can this radio, radio motion, and based on that, we can deduce, deduce that there is spinning within the storm. A radar seeing this at about 2,000 to 2,200 feet above ground level. But it's pretty tight, and when you see rotation that tight of Rockville, that's alarming, and it means that's, that's like five times the height of uh, top tail dragster, by the way. Like the wall cloud comes down to the ground. All right, they're saying Gull Lake 1107, Richland 1058. Very difficult to, uh, so, like I said, 1055 to 11, so it's 1050 right now. And it's still like 71 degrees outside, so it's been really humid. The dew points were like up to 75 today. And when I was going out for a run, it was like almost impossible to run. I had to stop and walk a lot because it was just so heavy air and humid and sticky and hard to breathe. You want to be in a safe spot with you and your family until you hear the all clear. Right now, we definitely don't have the all clear. No, no all clear yet. We're down here chilling. It really is cooler down here in the basement. Yeah, that right. Hi. This is a new cell that starts to rotate a little bit. And, you know, this is uh, not new. Not, not okay, this one's over by Battle Creek. Uh, Maplehurst and Penfield. And, and we're a little bit farther away from the, uh, uh, the radar being just flexed farther to us. So you might be slightly flexed. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you're, you're uh, heading toward... Uh, There's no rotation so far in the storm that's... Um, coming toward us from Van Buren County. Oh, good. Flooding right here in Richland. However, that's not surprising since our street barely has any drains on it. There's a lot of water in the fields out there, and uh, again... Not also, I'm pretty sure Gull Road's flooded, because I've been creeks, uh, driving when there's been torrential downpours, and it gets flooded pretty easily. It's almost like uh, the boxcar is going on a train down the track, one after another. What you're getting right here is thunderstorms moving west to east, one right after another. So we get uh, a little bit of a, a break. Uh, with these storms, and all of a sudden, we've got the next one coming in. From and every time it thunders and lightnings, our signal kind of dips out for like a millisecond. Hey, Dave, should we call Caroline? Should you guys call Caroline? And tell her to get to a safe place? I just want to do a little bit of tracking on this storm here and give folks an idea of where the most dangerous part of the storm is right now. A tornado warning continues right now for Kalamazoo County, Van Buren County. Good news. So, not like an interior bathroom because the bathroom doesn't want to Tornado threat continues here for northern and eastern. Northeastern specifically, Kalamazoo County. Okay, because it right now, like if, you know, if you know, if you can't, um, now, don't have a thing going downstairs, uh, uh, right now there's a uh, rotation heading right towards Richland. Make sure you're in the basement. This is tornado safety for everybody. And stay away from windows. Protect your head. This is a no, dangerous situation we're watching here. It's, his, it's still on direct towards Richland. Because we have a TV. Thunder and lightning out there. Jeez Louise, that was like right by that window. Holy crap. Shit, this guy. The worst of this storm, the really big part of the storm, you're in the clear No, we just had this is our best tornado shelter. You can literally hear like a You could hear the crack of it. You can hear the crack of it. It really good look at what this storm looks like. I'll switch it over so we can take a look at velocity. It sounded That's like it hit the driveway, the literally, on us. This is why. This is exactly why I parked my car in the garage today. And, uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we can avoid this. Give us some pretty good information here. Um, back a little bit farther. Oh, you got it on too. It looks like this may have broadened just a little bit. I got a channel eight. That too, Bill. It looks like we're still seeing. They got threes out downstairs. Here, but we're not seeing the gate to gate. I have. Yeah, so I have two blankets. 
I have my medication. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to zoom in there. Yeah, I got my first. Yeah, I mean, that's really impressive. I, mean, I, got, two, I, got, a I got the letter, and I got a uh, big blue, we call it. Yeah, that would certainly send me and my family to the basement. Right. It, it, so what we're talking about when we say gauge to gauge shears, we've got the green part of the radar. I will actually zoom in for a little bit so you can see yep, this. Yeah, I figured that. So from that, we deduce that we've got some rotation there. So it looks like that's going up a little bit, but... I learned this early on Bye -bye. in my in my career is that when you see rotation fall apart on, no, on radar, you often know Caroline should be safe. Okay. Doesn't cancel the tornado warning right away. She's good. For a couple of reasons. One, just because we lose it on radar doesn't mean that there's not something swirling at the surface. That's still a possibility. Also, with the dynamics in place, there's possible to these storms flare right back up. And so we can't sound the clear, the all clear for these folks yet. I'm gonna uh, be let's moving check over that, that just way. I think I feel a little more comfortable <laughs> away from the window. Good. Rotation right Everybody there. Everybody can't going to get in front of the screen. This is northern I'm just moving away from the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our tornado uh, shelter has a window. Not the best thing, but I mean, every we'll room in this house has a window downstairs. So we chose, like, the one that, you know, has the least, has the least amount. Yeah, right on. I mean, the, there is one other room down here that has, like, the least amount, but the only problem is it has the water main yeah, and, like, the radon checker in there, and it's like, yeah, I don't want those flying at us. This would be about where the roots part of the thunderstorm. Right near Richland, a lake, and you had some big thunderstorms last weekend. Make sure you it and your family are us right now. This is a dangerous storm me. right now. Dangerous. If you can't tell, too, the signal's kind of dying a little bit here. Into Calhoun County. You're not under a tornado warning yet. All right, now I'm going to fix the, fix the uh, antenna uh, because it was, like, sticking straight up the border. This is a gust again, isn't it? Yeah, a gust about 11.7. So rotating, dangerous thunderstorm, no question about that. It's worthy of getting you and your family. Oh, Everybody, I'm going to have to put this down for just a second. Forgive me. There are some power outages out there. Sometimes we can uh, see where there's been strong winds by looking at uh, power outages. We have just a few in uh, parts of uh, uh, California. Okay, so fixing right the now, antenna here. Because uh, it was sticking straight up around right 41. Around. All right, there you go. Back, back here. here. Okay, there it is. It's like basically like here right now. The town of Richland, if you want to zoom in there a little bit right there. Yeah, let's zoom in. Wow. I mean, that's, that's really heavy duty stuff. Uh, that, that's a little bit above ground, but boy, I tell you, uh, strong rotation evident there. Uh, if you're in Richland, if you're in Yorkville, if you're in Augusta, over toward Urbandale, boy, I would certainly want to. Uh, Take safety precautions. If yeah, we are. If you're in the I moved all my fine right objects now, over this uh, way. You want to be moving to a place of safety. Uh, don't bother watching us. If you have to, head down to the basement. We are watching you. We're downstairs. Yeah. Until the power goes out. We've had reports of Gosh, don't say that. Oh, gosh. East and DE and Avenue. Know, that is the street guys, right yes, near uh, us. They just That's labeled awesome. it. There's Gull Lake Road. There seems to be a storm. East DE Avenue is just the road parallel to us. DE Avenue there. Trying to read, I'm pretty far away from the uh, this is Eastern EF East Avenue. EF. Okay. I have an uncle Eastern living on that street. <laughs> and an aunt. East, East DE. E. East DE. That's, that's like yeah. I said, the street so right parallel to us. That's G. That's G. Uh, if you're in a place of safety and you would like to report something to us, uh, we're at 1 800. Yeah, that I'm recording you. Our, uh, I don't know what that's going to look like up there when that thing crashed. I know. Report it. Uh, at Woods Glad that one doesn't share. Well. Um, mm -hmm. Again, there are several areas there. If you look off to the uh, east of uh, Battle Creek, you can see other areas there where there's rotation showing up. But the area that really looks uh, the best right now is over towards Richland area. So, yeah, that's uh, great. The best area is right over here. That's not the thing uh, you want to say about <laughs> rotation. Of tornadoes with this general system, uh, damage just to the west of Joliet, Illinois, and also over in Tuscola County. So this whole system is certainly capable of producing uh, significant tornadoes. Uh, again, yeah, that, I need a battery for that. It just died. I can see it's not moving. The clock up there just died. here on this Kalamazoo storm, Bill. The rotation, we had gate-to-gate shear for the last two scans on radar. We don't have gate-to-gate shear right now. We still, what we have is a little bit more broad area right here of inbound winds next to a broad area of outbound winds. Now, like I mentioned when I, when I uh, was out on, on the green wall, you know, there's still pretty good reason to be concerned here because, oh, of course, just because this rotation falls apart in general lot. It's, it's updating now. We're going to wait for it to come around again. It doesn't mean yeah. that, that uh, the tornado threat is like has, we're gonna has be been a secured at all. So the, the mm -hmm. tornado warning continues here for Kalamazoo County. 
We've seen gate to gate shear the last couple of scans. It's possible that even though at 22, 2300 feet aloft, we're not seeing the, the tight, distinct rotation that we once were. Oh, and then it just comes right back. Something spinning on the ground. It's still a very dangerous storm. And what we do is we look at all the different parameters here. There are a number of different indices that we look at when we're forecasting severe weather. And looking at those well, indices the here this evening, uh, some of them were very, very strong. So we're about we're the tiger. I am here for our score. And then, yeah. Some activity here this evening. Now, we may get very lucky, and most all of this may turn out to be a loss, but uh, certainly if we take a look at the, the, uh, the contrast of winds right there, the inbound, uh, anywhere oh, underneath there, you could be seeing some strong winds that may not even be uh, tornadic. You may be getting just uh, right around uh, that particular area some fairly strong winds. Um, we've had uh, no significant, outside of the report that we had in Alamo, that's the only report that we've had so far of uh, damage, be 60 to 70 miles an hour. At 11 yeah, I can hear up, upstairs our satellite came back on for now. <laughs> in Kalamazoo County, we're seeing strong rotation in the northeastern part of the county. Elsewhere, we have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect. Let's take a look at those right now, run down the list. It's uh, quite Did the a lights long just flicker list again? Point. County, oh, I must be imagining severe things. Severe thunderstorm warning. All of you in southern Ooh, well, like uh, uh, Allegan County, mm -hmm. southern Barry, southern Eaton, northern half of Calhoun County, severe thunderstorm warnings. And right now, we continue to track a, a tornado warning yeah. for northeastern Kalamazoo. You yourself? Now, yeah. Kalamazoo, you may still have sirens going off. The tornado threat is over. At least it's not imminent for Kalamazoo. We may see another storm roll in that is tornadic. But right now, the immediate <laughs> yeah, that's what we threat need is another storm is across coming northeastern in. Kalamazoo County, townships of Ross and Charleston. That's Central close to Augusta, us. Springfield, just into yeah. Calhoun County. This is where we're seeing the strongest part of the storm. There it is, right there. Collinsburg, yeah. Dorkville, Midland Park, Richland. This is the danger area right now. We have seen some promising news, news in the last couple of scans here on radar. The rotation isn't quite as tight. We're not seeing what's called a couplet or gate-to-gate -gate shear. However, we're still seeing some anywhere between quasi-tight and not quite broad rotation here. The areas that we're sh are shaded That's in green one. indicate winds that are moving toward mm -hmm. the radar. In other words, toward so the storm's the over us now because it's like 11 o'clock. The area indicates winds moving away. So this is where the rotation is. If you're in Augusta right now, northeastern Kalamazoo mm -hmm. County, you got to get in a safe place right away. Exactly. And I tell you what, if you're up here in Grand Rapids, we're missing out on all of this. If you're Grand Rapids, up toward the Holland area and you're north, lucky. You're lucky. <laughs> yeah. The uh, severe thunder, right? excuse me, the tornado watch yeah. in Allegan and Berry County. We're not. The south. <laughs> you can see the general movement off to the it's east with these storms, and those storms are going to be training moving over the same I would area. say use the sink out there, but I can't rainfall. get it to work. You, catch lightning. If you, take a look at the lightning if you want me, I could run the washer, and we can get some water right from here. You're looking at uh, almost 6,000 flashes of lightning here. Now, that's, Probably that's not. really heavy duty stuff. We've had very little lightning around here in uh, most like of the West Michigan so far this morning. Yeah, but it's, it's still like show. showing tons and of it over there. Much of this area is seeing quite a bit of rain. The ground is saturated. That means there could certainly be some local flooding and the possibility oh, that, uh, you know, uh, as uh, some of those creeks are up, there could be some erosion on some of the uh, sides of some of the more rural roads, the gravelly roads that tend to uh, wash when you get a pretty heavy rainfall like this. And Bill, if we have a tornado, it's almost certainly rain-wrapped. Right. Is, I mean, you, you've seen, you've also seen the big right there, tornadoes too. where you can see them from 20 miles away. That's probably not what's going on here if we have a tornado on the ground. We just got an update from the Storm Prediction Center. They issued a mesoscale update, and uh, what they're saying right now is that the watch continues for this area. The uh, air, Basically, everybody south of Grand Rapids under a tornado watch until 3 a.m. Uh, isolated large hail. Strong updrafts, okay. strong downdrafts, and the possibility for isolated tornadoes continues, which is pretty much right in line with what we're seeing here. And we haven't had much hail during the day today. There was some hail earlier around the uh, Caledonia area and uh, Kentwood. Uh, it was all very small. We did have some wind damage reported on the uh, in the Wyoming area on Clay Street uh, between 36th and 44th that. around there. That was all fairly minor. At one point, it's we had uh, as many as 8,000 feet of power. Here in Kent County, and that was due to a combination of wind damage. We'll and keep lightning. recording until the storm but, uh, passes, <laughs> and then if another one comes, we'll be right back, and you'll get more footage. Small tornado spinups, uh, which can occur, and uh, a lot of the tornadoes that we get here, especially at night, are very difficult to see. As uh, as Kyle mentioned, now you get out in the plain states, there's no trees, it's flat, it's, it's usually daytime. That's a good idea. And, uh, you get big tornadoes that it's are easy to spot, well. but boy, I tell you, here in Michigan, we have trees, we have built. We have, uh, of course, when night falls, it's pretty difficult. Uh, what you got there? 
Spotter located at Firekeeper's Casino indicating rotation visible to the northeast of their location. Yeah, that's Verona one. Road 12 and a half. That's the one. Yeah, that's the east. other area yeah. we were tracking. Right. Let me show folks what we're talking about here. We have an area. Well, it's still it's still somewhat visible here. Mm -hmm. So Firekeepers is down here by Battle Creek, and this is the area of rotation. Basically, right due north of Marshall right now, we're seeing inbound winds right here near Walnut Point. Outbound winds right here southeast of Penfield. No indication of a tornado, but definitely this storm is rotating, and the fact that we've got a train spotter down here saying, I, think I see rotation. We, we love spotters. We really do. Uh, we, went to the, uh, we go to some of the spotter meetings that they have in the spring. If you'd like to become a spotter, the National Weather Service provides that opportunity, and we certainly appreciate those people that stand out there in Kalamazoo County. Uh, we have people uh, on hills and uh, places of... Uh, with a good view, we can take a look at this. And uh, they did; uh, they were watching the wall cloud as it came on through. Again, we've had no confirmed tornado touchdown. We're taking a look at some of the uh, cities here as we track the storm off toward the east through eastern Calhoun County over toward Jackson County. Uh, these storms are moving west to east. Uh, the colors that you see on the radar, this is uh, a rainfall intensity. The uh, reflect uh, showing uh, the red color. Heaviest bouncing back, the heaviest rain in there. And then, of course, uh, the colors uh, tend more toward green when you have the lighter rain. And don't you think at some point this is going to transition from a severe weather event to a flooding event? Because you look at the loop here. You go, draw a line from South Haven over toward Battle Creek. Constant heavy rain, and there are more cells lining up behind it. We've got all this cluster of heavy rain that's moving right toward the area where we already saw very heavy and that, rain. That area has been soaked. A lot of that area has already had over six inches of rain so far this month of June. Uh, when you have a situation like this, uh, at night it becomes very dangerous because you can't see what's on the road in front of you. Uh, you're driving along and you see some water on the, uh, on the road in front of you and you think maybe you can go right on through it, but you don't know how deep that water is. And at times we've had roads wash out. When that's the case, uh, the road isn't there anymore and you just go uh, heading off into the deeper water right there. It only takes about two feet of water to float a car or a vehicle. Uh, and so it's pretty easy to be swept away. And we've had uh, several fatalities here in Michigan. Uh, exactly, yes, that's yes, exactly yes. how that has happened. Uh, we've had reports today of over an inch of rain in just 45 minutes. And of course, this uh, very muggy air with high dew points uh, sort of capability of continuing to produce rainfall oh, amounts of that intensity. Oh, yeah. We're now looking uh, toward the Augusta area as our, uh, our uh, rotative area there continues to track off toward the east. Uh, tornado warning continues here until 11:15. So we got like uh, nine we'll see more minutes. What to do with it after that? We've got another area. Uh, but I think for now it's passed. So uh, right subscribe to my Twitter. Uh, look for that down in the bottom of the uh, in the uh, description. Um, subscribe for more content up in the corner. Um, if you're not viewing this on full screen, of course, right underneath my name. Uh, this is Michael Loudon. Over and out for Michael Loudon TV.